morning. Happy Monday. So Caitlin is officially done with high school. She graduates on Thursday. Wow. You know, people always say, oh, the time goes by so fast and you don't really believe it until it happens to you. So I can remember all of the first days of school that she's had. So it's really strange for me thinking that she's not going to be going anymore. It was really strange for her too. Last night I was like, ugh. I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. I have to get up in the morning. She's like, oh yeah, you have school. <laughs> I don't. She's like, that's really weird. I'm like, yeah. And she said she was sad. Not that she didn't have to get up in the morning, but that she didn't have school. And mostly it was for her special classes that she was taking in the mornings over at the other campus. She really, really enjoyed those. And she's going to miss all those people and her teachers and all of the learning that she did and the fun that she had. But she'll always have those memories and she's going to have fun where she's going to. So Thursday, she has graduation. Then Thursday night is project graduation, which is like an overnight kind of a lock-in thing where the kids can play games and they can earn money, like actual cash. And they have food and it just keeps them safe it keeps them from going out and drinking and getting drunk and getting killed in a car accident or hurting someone else and then saturday we'll probably be doing some shopping to get last minute things to take with her and sunday will be her graduation party and then monday we move her to kansas and then i have one and a half days of school left after that i'll have tuesday and a half day wednesday and then i'm done except for teachers come Thursday till one o'clock and we have like our retirement celebrations and end of the year stuff and turn in our paperwork and turn in all the data and reports and things. So it's coming to a close. So this week it's crunch time. Like we gotta get testing done. We gotta get things wrapped up. Kids are going to be making their project boards this week and getting them done for Friday's big celebration extravaganza showcase and tomorrow I am testing all day so I have a sub so I can do my reading testing and hopefully I can get it all whipped out in one day that'd be great because I'm just going to be like boom 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 I have tested a few kids I didn't get everyone tested and I'm going to try to do as many as humanly possible I'm going to do some today I'll do all day tomorrow and then Wednesday I'm out for senior stuff so there's a senior breakfast for Caitlin and her class there's an award ceremony and there's like a senior walk. They're doing some kind of a walk thing, like their last walk through the school kind of thing. In the afternoon, we might be able to do some shopping and get, she needs jeans and work boots. We might be able to get those for her and not have to do it over the weekend, which would be great because we're gonna be pooped and we need to set up for a party. Then I need to come to my school and like at three or so when the kids are in another room for late buses and start setting up glow games. I need to put black around the walls and set up the game stations. That'd be super fun. My husband said he would help me because he's off that day too. Caitlin might help me too. And we can get done really fast. Then maybe we could go out to eat and just kind of enjoy each other's company. And my mom is supposed to be coming in sometime. I don't know exactly when she's arriving, but she's driving from Texas. So I'll have to touch base with her again and see when she thinks she might be arriving because she's going to stay with us for a little bit. Gonna have to get some sleep when I can catch it <laughs> and be very good with my time management so I can get it all done. But it'll all work out, it always does. You know, every year at this time of year, I'm always like, oh, there's all this stuff to do because you have all these forms you need to fill out for the next year. Like each student you need to fill out like their scores on things so they can send it on to the next grade, right? They get all their report card testing done and they get their retesting done. <laughs> Anything they didn't get earlier in the year, you retest it, see if they have it now. So there's a lot of stuff to do, but it always gets done. It always does. And so I've learned finally that there's no point in freaking out over it. You have a momentary freak out and go, oh, there's a lot to do. Then you put on your positive pants, you make a list and you go down and you get her done. That's how it happens. So it will all get done. I'm a little more on the nervous side this year, I think, because I'm going to be out two of the last days. One day this week and one day next week, but it's okay, it will still get done. Oh, we, as th second grade, are traveling to the upper elementary today so they can see their new building for next year. It's pretty exciting. 
So the counselor has already talked to them about what to expect next year and all the big kid perks they'll get. Like they'll have lunch choice and just various things. Today though, half of the classes are gonna go at one time and then the other half are gonna go after they get back. So that's gonna be fun. And my plan time got moved, which is fine because we're doing all the traveling in the morning. So we have our plan time. I think I have plan time and then half an hour and then lunch and then recess. So <laughs> my uh, work times in my room where I can concentrate on stuff are kind of all in a row, which is kind of cool. So it was really nice that they shuffled around. We just retraded with first grade so that we wouldn't miss our plan time and our specials time so the kids don't miss specials either. So that's really nice. I'm glad they did that for us because we can use every spare minute we have <laughs> to do things. Yeah, and of course I'll need to be packing up my room for the summer. Now we don't have to box everything up, but we do need to have like loose articles up off the floor. They need to be kind of put away, like in bins or boxes, um, kind of stacked over. They like to clean off the countertops, so you really, I like to put stuff in bins on the countertop so it's easier to move the things around. Because if you have a whole bunch of loose items, that takes a lot of work for the custodians and the extra help in the summer to move things. Plus, things are more likely to get damaged the more they're moved around. So if you can make it easier, it's good. My closet is a hot mess and I need to go through it this summer. I really, really do. And just get rid of stuff. Because honestly, I didn't know for sure exactly what I would want to use in second grade. And I've learned I didn't really use a lot of stuff in there. Because there's not a lot of time. Not a lot of time for some of that stuff. So I'll be going through things and either like taking it home because I might use it another time or if I ever change grade levels again. And uh, other stuff will either go in the trash if it's no good, or it will be donated to people that can use it. So we do have a brand new teacher coming next year to replace my buddy teacher who's going to enrichment. She's gonna be teaching Gates, gifted and talented at the upper elementary and middle school. She has a split position, so she goes to both places. I want my closet to be streamlined and very organized and easy to get to things and be able to have less things actually out in the room. If it's dump, if it's nothing that the kids need, then I want to get it put away so I can just pull it out and we're going to use it. So more floor space for the kids, more learning area, and less clutter. My countertops are the messiest they've probably ever been. Okay, I am nearing my school and I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I will try to jump on later and kind of let you know how the tour went, how our day is progressing, and all that. So I will see you then. Good afternoon. It is lunchtime, and I just got the students to the lunchroom. Hannah took my box, but there was nothing there because I just checked it. So yay. We finished math lesson number two. We did one this morning since we don't have power hour anymore. I took that opportunity to do a math lesson during that time. And then we toured the upper elementary and that was really cool. And they got a snack. So then snack was taken care of, which is great. When we got back, we had just enough time to use the restroom and get to library class because we had switched with a first grade class. And now we have accomplished another math lesson about 2D shapes. So we've had two lessons on 2D shapes and they have started on two more cursive capital letters, M and N. And we were able to do K and L before we toured the upper elementary. Now, some of the students weren't quite finished with L, so they're going to finish that up when we come back from recess. They're going to work on M and N. Then they're going to work on their project boards for our big showcase on Friday. There are three students that will read for AR during that time. The rest of us will be working on our project boards, either for math or science, so that's good. And I was going to do a lesson on opinion writing. I was gonna have them do a sweet or salty lesson and tell which their favorite was, and that was going to be our final writing project for opinion writing. I'm going to move that to Thursday because we got back from our tour later than we expected. So I'm just going to move it to Thursday, which will be just fine. No problem at all. It'll all get done. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be reading testing all day. I have a sub, which is so awesome that we were able to do that. I've never taken advantage of getting a sub for reading testing before in all of my years, which I don't know why I didn't. I'm a crazy person, apparently. I always just try to do it in my room, but you get interrupted so many times and it just doesn't work as quickly. So I'm sure I can get a lot more testing done if I'm in the hallway outside my room 
and I have them working on things in the classroom. So that is going to be good. They're going to do two math lessons tomorrow, one first thing, and then they'll go to art, and then they'll come back and they'll do another lesson with I Ready, as that's their normal routine. Then they're going to read a book, and we're going to make a story taco. We're going to taco about the story in their taco, so each part of the taco stands for something else. It's like theme, setting, problem and solution, characters, all of the different elements of a story, so that will be kind of like an assessment for them. And then they're going to do that scholastic news that I didn't get to last week about the dangers of plastic straws and why we should try to eliminate them. Then uh, they'll do a phonics class and it'll be time for them to go home. So yay. Our awesome counselor brought me some, actually sent some students with some glue sticks because I asked her on an email this morning if she had any. So because I've got kids that I don't have any glue to glue their project boards with. So we might need to use runny glue too but some of it might work with a glue stick. So we'll just see how that goes. Okay, I need to print out some pictures that some parents have sent me of the projects. And I don't think I want any lunch because I actually ate something earlier and I'm still full. So I think I'm good. So I'm just gonna do some work. So I'll talk to you later. Good afternoon, I am headed home. It's a little after four. I'm excited to go home and do some cleaning. Not really <laughs> excited to go home not excited for the cleaning but I need to kind of spruce some things up because my mom's coming you know how that is you want things nice for your mom she's going to stay with us for Caitlin's graduation because she lives in Texas so it's not like she can just pop over and pop back home so I need to get some things tidied up for her so she has a place to sleep and Caitlin is somewhere around the area with a friend hanging out with her she tried to get her cap and gown today, but her fees didn't go through. The payment for the fees didn't go through yet. That'll happen tomorrow. She'll have to come back, which kind of stinks, but she asked me, can you just go over there after school? And I'm like, yeah, but they, would, they wouldn't be open by the time I went over there. Like by the time I leave, it takes 15 minutes to get over to the other building and they'll be gone. Both secretaries will be gone. So there wouldn't be anything I could do. And there wouldn't be anybody that could give her her cap and gown either. So that would kind of stink. So she's just going to zip over here again tomorrow, which kind of stinks. But it is what it is. <sighs> so I got those inflatable games at Target, right? I got one of the football goals, goal posts, and two of the basketball hoop things. One of my basketball hoop things does not hold air. I'm like so frustrated. I even put tape over it because I thought that maybe the air was leaking out around the little place where you blow. It didn't hold air. So I need to return that one and get another one if they have them. But they don't have one. I can't buy one, obviously. But I've already, in my little glow game books, I've already printed like two different basketball ones. So I'm thinking if I can't get another inflatable one, I will just use what I use for my March Madness when I had those like kind of felt covered basketball looking Easter baskets and I have those little rubber basketballs. It could just be a different version of basketball. So the kids would like that. I could even put it on a desk, you know, so it would be fine. So either way, they're going to enjoy it and they might actually enjoy having two different types of basketball to play. So it'll be fine whatever happens. I was thinking, oh crud, am I going to have to take that page out of the book and put a different page in there? What a pain that'll be. I'm like, oh, no, no, I have another basketball thing we can do, so that'll work. Yeah. So I have a backup plan. So I might not even get another inflatable thing. I might just return the one that's bad and just, you know, save my five bucks for something else. But some of those other inflatable things that I got, like the little shark, the little shark inflatable thing with, the, with its mouth open and it has like little fish balls to throw in it or something it's like a ball toss and the was it a swim ring thing I think that I got and I got those little squishy balls to throw through the hole I think I'm going to use those for a game thing a different day I don't know that I'm going to do a luau again I did a last day luau last year which was really fun the kids loved it but I don't know if I'm going to go to all of that or if I'm just going to make it game because I don't know that they're really going to care that much whether it's all hoop-de-doo, luau or if it's just fun games. 
and really the way they were designing things with their pattern blocks today when we were doing our math lesson they might be just as happy seriously if I just set out a tub of pattern blocks a tub of snap cubes some of the math manipulatives that they don't really get to play with so much. Maybe they would just enjoy creating with those. You know, maybe I'll just make it easy and just let them just do what they want, you know? I mean, it'll be the last day. It's a half day. We have other things taken up a big chunk of the day. We get out at 1220. We have an awards assembly that's about 30 minutes. We'll have lunch that's about 25 minutes. We'll have a recess that's like 15 minutes. That's a huge chunk of our day right there. So I thought, eh, I'm not gonna stress over stuff. Plus, honestly, if I just put out some little tubs of stuff that I already have and don't set up like games like I did before, it's not gonna take much to put it away either, <laughs> which would be easy for me because everything that gets set up has to be torn down again. Which when I set up my luau last year for my first grade class, I kind of went all out. Like I had a backdrop on the wall. I had a backdrop on the board. I had a luau sign that I blew up and stuck on there. I had luau music that I played that I got a CD for. Um, I set up the desks like little stations and had different signs hung up to tell what they were. We made a special luau snack, which was like a pineapple fruit salad. Oh my goodness, this person just stopped. I don't know what that was all about. I, the pickup truck driver just was confused or something. But they seriously just stopped on the entrance ramp. Like they maybe they didn't know what to do from there. I don't know. That was very odd. I've never seen that before. That was very strange. Has that ever happened to you? You're entering a highway and someone just stops on the entrance ramp and blocks everyone in? And we're all like, uh, you're supposed to keep going. <laughs> Yikes. There are two lanes here. Oh, I don't know. That was really weird. Okay, as I was saying. So, I'm, I think I've kind of talked my seven to less is more. <laughs> you know? Like, I've, I've done things where I've pulled out all the stops this year. And I don't think I need to do that. You know? Sometimes less is more. You don't have to go big or go home. Sometimes you can go small and go home. And you don't have to go home exhausted. All right. So we'll just, we'll have to see what I come up with for that. I've already like made my lesson plans for all the last remaining days of school, which is very strange to say that, but we only have six and a half days left. Okay, so I'm out tomorrow for testing in the hallway. So probably won't be anything to really talk about tomorrow because <laughs> I'm going to be testing my eyeballs out. Then Wednesday I'm out out because it's Caitlin's senior breakfast, senior award ceremony and senior walk day. So my husband and I both took off work for that. Then Thursday's glow day, I'll be sure to film that because that's gonna look really cool. I've got black light flashlights and I have ordered black sheeting to go from the ceiling to the floor. And so I'm gonna be covering up my walls so it's really cool in there. I even ordered like a special light to shine on the ceiling. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. I'm trying to think of a glow snack that we can do. I'll have to see. I have lots of glow bracelets that I've ordered. I think I'm going to give the students a glow bracelet so they can wear that during the glow games. And I'll also use some for ring toss and some for just lighting up some more things. That'd be fun. And then Friday, I think will be our birthday bash read-in day. And also in the afternoon is our showcase time for parents to come ooh and all over the, all the cool projects that are out to be seen. So as I was saying, the students that didn't have their science fair stuff, science fair, science projects completed or ones that didn't work out well, <laughs> they were a flop. I'm just letting them use their power hour projects for that because that was a lot of work. That was two weeks worth of work. So whatever they did, I gave them a writing paper and I said, tell me about what you did. Tell me about your project. Tell me how you did it. Like go step by step what you did to create this. So they're going to have that as their display because they need something. I don't want there just to be like four or five science boards out there. I'm going to need like several tables slash desks to display all of their stuff. But I am going to use all the desks that I have. And then I do have a folding table at home that I can bring to use for that. 
that I can use for other things too. So I think that's gonna work out really well. Thursday, we'll do some retesting in the afternoon because the glow games will be in the morning because it's all math review. I'm, I was going to do just glow games like the last day of school as their like rainbow party, but we're not gonna make it to the rainbow party, unfortunately. They're just, there are not enough days left to earn that many stickers. And I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna force it. So this is gonna be a math review slash games. So it's gonna be educational. They need the review before they take their retest anyway for the report part, so it's gonna work out pretty nicely. And they'll have fun doing it. They'll be motivated to get the answers right because they need to get the answers right to play the games. So they're gonna do their little station of answers and then they'll come show me. And when they have them all, then they will get to play the game. So it's gonna be really cool. I didn't realize how tired it was until I sat in the car, but I have things to do. I wanna to try to organize some stuff tonight so I don't have everything to do in one night. When Kaylin gets home, she said she'd help me clean up a little bit too, because she's got some stuff she needs to take care of of her things. And I don't know what to do with them. I'm gonna let her decide. So, I think I probably babbled long enough. <laughs> My voice is kind of going. And uh, I'm just going to head on home and get some stuff done. So, I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I am on the road headed to school where today will be a fun-filled day of reading testing for me. Ah, but the great thing is I get to have a sub. So, our administration is so awesome that they allow us to have a whole day with a sub. So my kids in my room will be doing learning activities while I am in the hallway testing, testing, testing. My goal is to get everyone done. That's my goal, so I'm just gonna be. And since we don't have power hour, that's another 25 minutes, so I can get one whole student done during that time. I have some really high readers that only need to read probably one book before they cap out. <laughs> And then my lower readers, I'm saving to the end. That way they don't miss any of the math instruction because sometimes my lower readers are also my lower kids in math, not always. But I think that will work out really well. So they will be at the end. And they're gonna be doing that story taco that I talked about, that I tacoed about. <laughs> I've got all the pieces for that. I just need to cut apart the individual pieces so they can work on that. But everything's ready. I just need to print out my sub plans. I always try to make them as thorough as possible, but not overwhelming if that's possible to do. <laughs> so I try to give them information that they need, but not so much that it's overwhelming because you don't want to be constantly going, okay, what did she say about this? Oh, what did she say about this? Because it's just mind boggling. You can't, you can't know everything about a classroom. You just can't. You need to know the important things like who should it be together? Who not to send to the restroom alone? Things like that. Things that are gonna cause you grief. <laughs> I'm trying to save this person some grief if I can. Plus, I mean, if they go in the hallway to the restroom, I'm gonna be out there and I'll see them. So there you go. I'm not gonna start testing till after the pledge. So this, I told the kids I'd be there all day today and I would see them. I just wouldn't be in the room all the time. But they were still gonna get to do some cool stuff plus their regular stuff. So they're still going to do I Ready. They're still going to do their Go Math lessons. They're still going to do cursive. They're still going to do reading. So everything is the same as if I were there because the lessons and things that I have planned for them to do are things that I would have done with them. It's just not gonna be me. So it'll be fine. And also if, if there are major questions about something, I'm right there. She can come grab me and ask me real fast. Hey, what do we do with this? And I can just say, this is what we do. I think I'm gonna ask her if she will sharpen some of the pencils for me during like plan time or something because I'm not gonna have time. I need to start working on who needs to take what test again. Husband and I took the day off tomorrow so that we could do all the cool, fun senior stuff with Caitlin at school. So there's a senior breakfast, there is a senior awards assembly, and there is a senior walk, which I'm assuming they wear their cap and gown and walk around saying goodbye to people maybe. I don't really know exactly what that is, but we'll see what that is. So I was thinking we could all go out to lunch together have a little celebration and then maybe we could go and try to find Caitlin her work jeans that she needs to take with her on Monday and work boots <clears throat> so we're going to be on a mission then sometime that afternoon after school ish we need to run to my classroom and put up things for glow games 
So over the weekend, I worked on putting glow, like neon tape, reflective tape on my bowling set. I also have those inflatables I got from Target. I've decided I'm not even gonna try to get another one of those basketball things. I'm just gonna take back the one that's defective because I have one of those, I have one of the football ones. That'll be fine. And I use the little basketball Easter basket things that I use for my March Madness thing. That'll be fine. And it'll be a different thing. So I just need to put some reflective tape on those so they'll glow. And I need to set up my little stations. I'm not going to be able to put together my ring toss rings until right before, because otherwise they won't glow anymore, because they're made out of glow bracelets. So I'm going to have to stick probably two glow bracelets together to make a big enough ring. Plus I need to make rings for tic-tac-toe. So I'm going to make a tic-tac-toe board on my floor with that reflective tape. The tape comes right off the floor with no residue or anything. So it's gonna be neat. And I have tested out my black light flashlights and they look really cool. Like I took them in the downstairs bathroom because there's no window there and I shut the door and then I shined the light on the reflective things that I'd done. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. Like the bowling balls, I put different colors on. So when they spin, when they throw them, when they roll the bowling ball, it's gonna have different colors going. I have a special party light I'm going to project onto the ceiling and it makes really cool colors and kaleidoscopes and swirls and things of different colors. That's gonna be really neat. I also have something cool to project on my whiteboard that says glow games on it. Something about glowing. So I think that'll be cool because it has different colors. And then the room will be very dark. So I think it's gonna turn out really cool. I think the kids are really gonna like it. So they have six different stations to go through and each of them is a math review and that way I can retest some of those skills on Friday for those that didn't get it the previous three quarters. So I think that's going to be a fun way to review things and also the games will be fun for the kids to be motivated to get the answers. There are only seven questions per thing so it's not going to overwhelm them. I think it's gonna be a really cool thing for them. We will do that after whatever special we have that day. <laughs> I don't even know right now. It'll just, it'll be from after specials time till lunch. That will be plenty of time to do that. Then the rest of the day will be normal. They'll get to finish up their project boards, finish up everything that they need to finish up for Friday's big hoopla extravaganza showcase. So. Things are falling into place. I'm not freaking out so much now because I've got a plan. Everything will be done. Everything will get there. All right, I am almost to school. So I'm gonna say goodbye here. And I might be able to check back in with you later. We'll just see how it goes. If not, maybe I can catch you at the end of the day and let you know how things turn out. So we'll see you then. Good afternoon. It is lunchtime. I'm having this. I've been testing like a maniac, but I still have a lot to do. <laughs> I'm going to test as much as I can. I'm going to try to grab kids during late bus too. Hopefully I can get at least one kid tested during that time. Maybe two, depending on how well they read. Oh, it's going to be a lot. So I'm just doing what I can do. And I'm just going to keep picking away at it until it's done. So um, I've been trying to clean up around here too. Because yeah, Hot Mess Express doesn't even begin to cover it. So I'm going to keep cleaning as I go <laughs> and snarf my food. And then the kids will come back from recess and finish the afternoon. So I'll chat with you later. Hello, it is about quarter to five and I'm finally headed home after a very long day of testing. <laughs> so I didn't get everyone tested. I knew I wouldn't get everyone, but I wanted to get pretty close. Yeah, I'm a little over halfway done. So it is what it is. You can only do what you can do. I tested as many kids as I possibly could. I didn't waste a single moment. So that was good. I'm going to be out tomorrow. <laughs> for Caitlin's senior things, which I've probably mentioned several times, but I was, I stayed a little bit after late buses so that I could make sure that I had all my sub plans together. The same lady that was sub for me today is going to be the same one that comes tomorrow and Monday. So there'll be some continuity, which will be good. And she'll kind of know how things work because since I was there today, I did get to talk to her quite a bit and say, Oh, this is how I do this. This is how I do this. And she could ask me questions. I could show her things. And I could remind the students, oh, you know what? This is how we do this, and you know that. So please do that. So I hope that, I hope today, so I hope tomorrow goes really well. 
I just can't worry about it though because I'm not going to be there and I need to be mom. I need to be mom to my daughter and her last things of school. So that's what I'm going to do. When I get home, I'm going to change into some comfy clothes and get to cleaning because my mom is coming tomorrow evening. So I need to get things tidied up and we just need to vacuum and dust and things like that, clean the bathrooms. And I need to move some of my school boxes away from the pull-out couch where they've been kind of stationed since the summer. They've moved here and there. They haven't really moved too far away. So I need to kind of, I mean, there's really nowhere else to put them other than just to the side a little bit. That's just going to be the way it is, unfortunately. But at least we can pick up, you know, tidy up and stuff like that. So that's what we are all going to be doing today, this evening, for a while anyway. And then tomorrow is all fun with our daughter that's going to be graduating on Thursday. It's so fast. It's just going really quickly. And then she has project graduation after that on Thursday night. And then Friday, I have a very long day. I'll be tired from project grad, which I'm not staying the whole night. There's no way I can do that and work the next day. I would die. So we have our second grade finale that night. So there's a big party. So I'll be there till after seven. It ends at seven, but then we have to clean up. And then Saturday, I'm probably going to collapse. <laughs> and then Sunday, we'll have a graduation party for Caitlin. And Monday, we move her to Kansas. Yikes. Then Tuesday is field day and our AR reward party. And Wednesday is our last day of school. So it is really going quickly. I have a lot of paperwork things that I need to do. I'm just like, ugh. So I printed a lot of things out today so I could start working on things. But some of it is just gonna have to wait until next week because I just don't have any other time. I don't. I've got family coming. I have Kaylin's graduation. I have Kaylin's graduation party. I have stuff to do beyond report cards and things like that for school. So I'm just trying to get it all done and try to have a little fun in the process. My kids have a good end of the year, but they're finishing up some little projects and a little bit of testing here and there so we can finish off our report cards. I need to get those marked, which that doesn't really take a huge amount of time. You just need to sit and do it. So I just don't have time today to do that, but I will get it done, even if it has to be over the weekend somehow, but it'll happen. It'll happen somehow, it always gets done. I'm not worried about it because it always happens. No matter what I do, I always get it done. So it's just gonna take some work, but it's fine. Oh, so I asked my husband just a little bit ago if he would go to Walmart, because he works right next to a super center. I asked him if he would please pick up canned cat food because I realized last night we were out. I'm like, oh shoot, I should have gone to the store yesterday, but wasn't thinking about that. So the poor kitties will not have their canned food tonight. But they can have it later. I'll just give it to them at their, their late night feeding. Well, 10 o'clock. It's not super late night. But they get like a bedtime feeding too. So they're not super hungry in the morning. And it tides them over night. So poor outside kitties didn't get any of the wet cat food yesterday. Because I only had one can left. And I need two for them. So I gave the one can to the inside cats. And the outside cats kind of got the... <laughs> So I told them I was sorry. They were meowing at me too because they expected. <laughs> and they were looking at me like, where's our food? Where's our food? Well, they got the dry food, but they didn't get their canned food on top of it. And they were sad. So I apologize. I was like, kitties. I didn't have any canned food tonight. Yeah. So they just kind of looked at me like, what's going on? <laughs> I felt bad, but there wasn't anything I could do about it at that point. But they will have it tonight for sure. It'll be good. I'm bringing home that bin that's mostly full of some of the men in black things that we wouldn't need to finish the stations if we ever got time to do that. And also the pizza boxes from my pizza fraction pizzeria on Friday. I'm going planning to empty that one and fill it up with glow game things because I need to bring that stuff with me tomorrow when we travel back to the town where I work. That's where all of Caitlin's activities will be. And then after school, I'm going to try to set up my room for glow games. So that's going to be cool. I hope I have the energy because I really want to do that. The kids will really enjoy it and it's a great math review. That's the biggest thing. It's not just for the sake of doing glow games. It's because it's a math review and they will really enjoy getting to the activities after they finish their review. So that's going to be really nice. I'm excited.
excited about it. I think it's going to be really fun. And every time I've seen anybody post anything on Instagram or on Pinterest or on their websites or anything or Facebook about glow games, it always looks really fun and really engaging for the kids and just something different. I mean, who wouldn't want to do glow in the dark stuff, right? I'd be all over that as a kid. So I even have a special shirt to wear. Of course I do. You know me. I think I'm going to wrap some glow tape around my shoes so that my shoes light up. I'm going to wear glow bracelets and possibly a glow necklace. So I'm going to be all glowy. I've got things to jazz up the room, so it's going to be super cool. I will try to pop in here and there tomorrow and let you know how things are going. Maybe I can get little snippets of what we're doing. I don't know for sure. I will try. So we'll see how that works out, but I'll definitely show you my glow games and how that's set up probably tomorrow after I do it because I won't really have time to show you the next day because my kids will be there. So that is my plan. I'll try to show you everything. Okay. I'm going to say goodnight and I'll see you later.